In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create your own website so that you can sell your own e-commerce products online. And this process will take you realistically like 10 minutes or less. Now, obviously, this tutorial is going to be slowed down to kind of teach you the ins and outs of how to create it and craft it. Once you watch this tutorial and you actually put it into practice, you'll see just how basic this is to actually create this, just how fast you can get up and running. And honestly, you can just use this copy template that you create for all future websites. The main reason that I'm creating a tutorial like this is because it was heavily requested by a lot of people that uh, are starting to create Facebook shops. And one of the ways that you can demonstrate trustworthiness to Facebook is to have your own branded website with the same URL, the same brand name, obviously, that matches the Facebook page, the commerce manager, and the business name on that actual account. Now, all these things are not needed, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a higher likelihood to get your shop approved faster, get marketplace enabled on that shop a lot faster, and ultimately protect you from a lot of restrictions that might happen on your commerce manager or your shop because Facebook will deem you trustworthy when all these things match and it'll protect you in the future from getting restricted. But that's not the only reason that this is valuable. So if this, if, if that's not you, Another potential reason is if you plan on ever selling on Amazon or you plan on ever selling on Walmart or potentially you ever plan on, you know, starting wholesale or anything like that, whether it's shipping into Amazon FBA or, you know, wholesale drop shipping, a lot of those places, uh, you know, to get accepted to wholesale suppliers or Amazon or, or Walmart as a seller are going to want, you know, your specific website and it's going to increase the likelihood that you get accepted to those places as well. Learning how to create a site like this is really going to be advantageous for you for a number of reasons. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick a site builder. All right. Now, a lot of people are going to use Shopify. I've never been a Shopify guy. I've set up Shopify websites in the past, and it's very, very easy to use. I personally like Wix. A lot of people will tell you that Wix is a very beginner friendly platform and there's a lot of restrictions and it's really only for beginners. And that's not true at all. As somebody who's built their, like many Wix websites, I've sold physical products. I've dropped shipped physical products on a Wix website. I've sold um, a lot of, like I've created in-depth, like, like digital funnels for digital products with webinars and everything like that on a Wix website. Uh, my entire branded website under BrianGarrett.com is created on a Wix website. So there's a lot of things that you can do that are more, advanced things on Wix website. It comes with a lot of plugins, a lot of apps that you can download and buy to upgrade things. So make no mistake, like, yes, it's beginner friendly and that's perfect because if you're watching this tutorial, then that's probably you. And the fact that it is very easy to use and beginner friendly is very advantageous to you, but make no mistake, there's a lot of advanced integrations and you can get really, really advanced with a Wix website. But today we're obviously just teaching you the basics, okay? Ultimately, it doesn't matter if you pick Shopify, if you pick Wix, or you pick any other site builder, they all work pretty much the same. They're all drag and drop, and they all have a drop down menu that's going to basically show you all the pages within your website that you can then click on and then drag and drop to edit them. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is pick a site builder, like I said. So in this case, we're going to use Wix. Now, I'm going to link a trial to Wix or a promo to Wix. I have one in the past. I haven't created a Wix tutorial in a long, long time. I'll try to drop one of those in the description for you. It's going to be some kind of promotion. Usually it's a free trial. At least it used to be in the past. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, what kind of website are you creating? In this case, it's going to be an online store. The next thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to pick all the different things that you want available. So you can look through this. Really all you need for this template just to kind of show and demonstrate the fact that you have an actual e-commerce site is the online store. You don't need chat. You don't need forms. You don't need any of this other stuff. If you're brand new, I'd recommend going Wix ADI because it's super, super easy. You can also just go to the website editor. Um, this is going to give you a lot more freedom and a lot more capabilities, but you're going to need to know a little bit more about drag and drop website building. But if you've never done this before, and if you're this far into the tutorial, I'm obviously assuming that that's you, you don't have much experience. So I'd go ADI and that way you can pick a template and just set it up. What's the name of our store? We'll, we'll make up a random brand name. One, two, three customs. Just this is a terrible name. Pick up, you know, spend a little bit of time creating a better brand name. Name, but just for the sake of showing you in this tutorial, that's going to be our name. Okay. Now we don't have an existing website, so we're going to click next. That's something that we'll hook up at the very end. Um, these are, you know, things that you're going to, if you have a social media for, for your brand, anything here, um, I, you don't really need to put a phone or an address in. You can, if you want to demonstrate again, trustworthiness, but, but if you're submitting this to Facebook for your Facebook shop, make sure that all that information matches up with the information that you put on Facebook for your Facebook shop. Or again, that could, you know, tick off some things in the algorithm and Facebook might not like. Pick a theme. 
all these, it doesn't really matter what you pick here. I always like the clean theme. I like the way it looks. It looks e-commerce-y. Thread's decent as well. Or you can just go classic and change your colors. Uh, the, the site that I built is literally clean and I made a couple tweaks. So you can really power through this in like 10 minutes and just build your site out. Homepage design, any one of these will work. Just pick one. So we'll go with... Um, Let's go with this one for the time being. Ultimately, you're gonna want a contact page and you're gonna want an about us page. Potentially you'd want a new collection page as well, but we're just gonna stick with those for right now. And then we're gonna click edit site. You can always delete these pages super fast. So if you add one that you know you might not need, it's totally fine. You can delete it very, very quickly. Now, here we are on the homepage and in the site builder like Wix, there's a couple of different things that you're gonna to wanna to understand. If you click on anything, First and foremost, you just click on text. You can obviously edit the text. You can drag it around. You click on the picture. You can change the picture. So right over here is going to be, you know, where you're going to make your adjustments, whether that's text, the size, the font, the different picture where you can input that. Another thing to keep in mind here is you can always preview your website by clicking the preview button up here and then get like an actual look of what it's going to look like to a customer, the functionality of it what clicks, where it takes you and all that good stuff. So just understand that you can always preview it if you need to see what it looks like from the customer's perspective. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind as well is that a lot of people are gonna be seeing this on mobile. So if you, you want your site to be, whether you're creating this for a Facebook shop or obviously if you're selling products from this actual site, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's mobile optimized as well. And if you use the template and you set it up, obviously like, you know, based on a lot of the different metrics and things, and you're not moving things around customized and putting them in specific positions that they're not actually set up in already, you're, you're not really ever gonna run into this issue, but just make sure always to, if you wanna look at it on mobile, you just click this down arrow right here, you go to mobile and it'll show you what it looks like on mobile as well, all right? There you go, that's what it looks like on mobile. You can obviously scroll down after you hit got it. Thinks I'm new, that's why it's giving me all these uh, suggestions and you can click around see what it looks like on mobile and build it out on mobile. Um, typically, if you keep everything in the same position, it's all going to be mobile optimized anyway, but just it's something that you're going to want to check on all pages once you're finished. All right. And the main part up here is this little drop down menu in the top left. So right here is going to be all your pages. So this is exactly what my other one had started with, right? We have the home page, we have the shop page where you're going to add all your products. Then obviously from there, if you actually enable a checkout, you don't need to enable checkout, little, little tip there. If you want to enable a checkout, then obviously they're going to go to the cart page next and the thank you page. You can customize those as well. On all my test sites for Facebook shop specifically, and on the website that I use to submit to wholesale suppliers to get accepted, checkout is not actually optimized and you can't actually check on the out on the website but nobody ever seems to check that so in my experience it's not necessary so the first thing that we're going to do just to get out of the way is go to the about us page now it's going to show your brand name here so you're going to want to personalize this message you don't really need to do too much here but you want to personalize personalize this message it can be a short paragraph it can be a short sentence again this isn't like you're selling from an actual brand for the majority of you. You're just using this to get accepted to wholesale suppliers at a Facebook to, you know, show trustworthiness to a Facebook shop. To show you the example of the other one here. So the about us page on the other one literally just says bringing you quality home decor at affordable prices directly to your door. Now, I don't necessarily sell home decor on all of my Facebook shops that I use this for, but keep that in mind. You just want something simple to the point. Your learn more button or your button should take you somewhere that should actually work. And if you have social media, uh, you're obviously going to want to link them. Or if you obviously have a Facebook page, link that, and then you can delete the other ones out of there. So if you go down here, you just click these, just like I said before, everything's drag and drop. Everything's clickable, movable. Um, it's very, very simple. Just play around with it. You'll get the hang of it. So if you don't want these here, right, what you can do is you can just delete them. So if we don't want, we like if we have a Facebook shop, then we're obviously just going to link that here by clicking edit and then linking it there. If we don't have, uh, you know, a Twitter, we, we're just going to delete that. If we don't have a LinkedIn for our business, we're just going to delete that. Now, the contact page or the support page, it's basically the same thing. You're just going to want to either link, uh, you know, you're, you're going to want like a, a page where you can actually go in and they can submit something to you like this one, which is very, very simple. This one just goes to my email and then I don't ever answer it. or you can just pick like a picture and a, and a contact us page like this where you list your information um, and the details to get in touch. Now, the next thing is the home page. So we already talked about how to do the about us page. We already talked about how to create the contact page. Now the home page, really all it should do is say your brand up here um, and then something simple, right? So on the other example page, if we go back to home, 
this is the one that I use, like the, the test site. It'll say like, all right, the daily deals. It'll say like a specific sale that's coming up. Keep an eye out. It might have, again, you can even repeat like your brand story here. This is the homepage that Facebook's going to land on. So just make sure that this looks legitimate. Okay. This is the most important page on the website. Also show some products where people can actually click into the product and literally go and look at that product on the homepage so that if they're doing their due diligence, they're not going to look through and click through your entire website. I promise you that, but you just want these things to actually work and actually look like you have legitimate products right here. This is a pretty solid picture. You can change that if you want right here. A lot of these are going to come from your product page and they're just going to be input there already. If you ever want to delete something, you can just hover over it and then delete it. So if you want to delete this about section right here, hover over it and then delete it. So if you ever wanna move something, then you can come up with these three little buttons as well and then move to, and then select the specific page that you wanna move it to. If you ever wanna move it up or down, you hover over it and there should be these little arrows, or a lot of times you can just hold it and drag it. For this specific template, you can't do that. So you just hover over it, you'll see the down arrow, you click down and then bam, it switched then, right? So for this specific template, it's just got a, a bunch of different like kind of bars set up. If you pick a different template, then a lot of times what you can do is just drag and drop it. So literally select it, hold it, and just drag it to where you want. And it'll re kind of format where things are at, hence the drag and drop website builder, okay? So we're gonna delete the uh, contact us page right there. And really our homepage is just gonna be right here. It's gonna say something along the lines of like new products, great deals. I would recommend putting something here in your subtitle. So this should be like a paragraph description of like at one, two, three customs. Our main goal is to satisfy customers doing this X, Y, and Z. We started out as a blah, blah, blah. Like you just want to make it look official. It doesn't have to be a long, you know, two page paper, but at least a sentence or two, or at least a paragraph that makes you look official so that anybody landing on it is like, okay, this is an actual brand. They've been in business doing X, Y, and Z for whatever it is. Okay. Now the next thing here is all of these things are going to be automatically populated when we actually go into our shop. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our shop. And if we click the shop page, this is what the shop page is actually going to look like. But to actually add products, what you can do is you can either click in it and then add products, or you can go to this little settings thing right here and then manage your store. You can set this up yourself, or you can have a VA go in and add like 40 products or 50 products just so that you actually have some products. Because obviously, if you have somebody that lands on this store and it says, I'm a product with the price, like that's not going to look right. And that's going to be a major red flag. So what you want to do is you want to select all of these and then delete all the templates that are in there. And then just create new products, right? So physical product, um, we'll go to Amazon and just pick like a random one. This is always the one that I use. So right here, we're just going to grab the name on ZDrop. We're going to download the main images. We're going to come back to the Wix editor. We're going to add the images in, select them all, add them to the page. Bam. There we go. We'll drag this one over to make it look like it's a good picture. We'll paste the name in there. We'll paste the uh, description. It, it's not, it's not really going to matter because nobody's actually going to buy from this, but just make sure like you're not taking anything with Amazon information or anything like that. That's going to, you know, typically in the last bullet point, that's going to tip it off that you just copy this product from Amazon, paste it in there. And then the price again doesn't really matter because I don't really ever have anybody checking out on these. Um, but if you ever plan to, or if you ever plan on running uh, your shop with actual checkout on a website and not actually on Marketplace or on Instagram, then not, that obviously matters. We go to our shop. There's the product we added. Again, you're going to have a bunch of products. Like the example other one right here um, has a bunch of products just on the main homepage. Like these are the deals or the, the daily deals, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then if we click shop, you're going to see like, there's a couple products here. I think there's like 30. It's not many, maybe not even actually on this example store. There's what, excuse me, there's 18. Okay. So I would say probably add some more than that. Um, again, you can hire a VA super fast, super cheap to do this. Um, and that's really how you build a website. It's super easy. It's not very complicated. We're not spending hours and hours and days and months building some crazy integrated website with a lot of bells and whistles. This is simply for the purpose of getting it your Facebook shop accepted with trustworthiness or applying to wholesale suppliers or creating this for other, you know, specific brands that you can obviously sell as a service or whatever. So when you do publish, you're going to have to actually pay or join the trial. Again, I'm going to try to link a trial down in the description. You're also going to need to actually hook a URL up to this. So 
what I'd recommend that you do is if you go back into your websites and you click that site, you'll see right here, it says obviously update your store type, you know, add shipping and delivery. None of this stuff really matters. You're obviously gonna wanna publish your website, but then you need to connect a custom domain to it because you're gonna need a specific URL that matches your brand name, okay? So if you click uh, connect a domain, it's gonna walk you through how to actually buy a domain, how to connect a domain. I personally like GoDaddy, so I usually just go to GoDaddy first. Both Wix and GoDaddy will walk you through the process. It's it, they, they've literally systemized it perfectly. And then you follow, after you buy it, you literally follow the prompts of how to connect it to your store. It's super easy. Obviously, we picked a terrible name, but just for example, 123 Customs. So we can pick 123 Customs for uh, .net for $14.99 our first year. If we look down, they have other examples. So 123Customs.shop for $0.99 cents the first year would be a perfect one to pick right there. You're paying a dollar for a year. Um, and you just literally got your shop enabled with a, with a domain that matches your brand name. The camera just cut out, so we're just gonna finish this on the phone here, but that's the gist of it, guys. It's really easy to build a website. I really dumbed that down and slowed it down for you. You're gonna learn a lot more about actually going through the process and playing around drag and drop on your website builder yourself. You can use Shopify, you can use Wix, you can use WordPress, Weebly. There's a number of them out there. They all work very, very similar, and they're all very, very easy to use. Key thing here is you don't need a crazy in-depth website. Build one with a couple of pages with some products on it that looks professional, and that'll do the trick. Then you want to buy a domain. You can buy one, like I said, as cheap as a dollar. Connect that to your website, and then any future website that you need for whatever reason in the future, just duplicate that website, add the new domain and the new URL, and then you're good to go with that next brand and that next website. Really hope that this video helps, guys. If you got any value from this video whatsoever, please give it a like. I genuinely appreciate it. Until next time.